Hey guys, so any filmmaker or YouTuber will know the importance of a fluid video tripod. This will get you the nice pans and tilts and whatever uh, for your videos. And I've got in front of me the two most popular options around the $150 mark. The Magnus VT4000 as well as the fancier FC270A. Uh, so I'm just going to run you through them both and the differences and similarities and maybe you can choose which one you're going to pick. So starting off, they both have the 75mm bowl mount at the top and that just means that you're going to be able to mount these more professional uh, fluid heads, so to speak, like the 502 HD and that sort of thing. And it's worth mentioning the Magnus tripod has a branding on the legs while the fancier tripod does not. So it just gives it a slightly more professional look. The legs, or the material of the legs on the Magnus were uh, brushed aluminum as you saw, but on the fancier it's kind of a fingerprint magnet, which I don't like, but it's there and it's built. they're built the same, they're sort of equal in weight. The latches on the VT4000, the Magnus, are not as good as they should be for at least that price. I mean, they're plastic, while the fancier ones are these turn dials thing, things that are extremely strong and well built. And they're not going anywhere. Once you stick the tripod in place, it's not moving. The legs aren't moving. The heads are both 75mm bowl heads, as I said. Uh, the Magnus VT4000 head is much bigger. That's easily noticeable. But both of them perform well, and you'll see in a second why. Uh, like I said, you can tell the difference in size between the Magnus and the fancier tripod head. Both are fluid heads. I don't think any of them contain actual fluid cartridges. I may be wrong, but both are relatively fluid in terms of drag. They both feature quick release plates, although the Magnus's quick release plate is a lot uh, wider than that of the Fancier's. They both have uh, arms that you can use to control the heads and they're repositionable wherever you want, although the Fancier arm is extendable and that's a really nice feature to have it goes really long that's it's absolutely crazy but it's a nice feature to have anyway so here i'm uh sort of panning along with the magnus vt4000 and as you can see here it is fluid but it does have this sort of jump start so if you're not at panning and then you start it does have a jump start the fc270a is more fluid than the the magnus but it is quite stiff but i personally chose to stay with this tripod and you'll see why at the end of the video but yeah it is a bit more stiff and uh they both feature counterbalance which is spring loaded um the magnus one is as you can see here featured is not as strong as the fancier's uh counterbalance but here you go here's the fancier one so it just has a more smooth, it's a smooth counterbalance, and I actually don't use it for its purpose. I use it to get some nice tilt shots, like some automatic done tilt shots. And uh, the Magnus VT4000 does not have an adjustable, adjust, adjustable knob, I guess, for this. So you can't turn this feature off. While on the fans, your tripod, as you can see here, you can easily just uh, switch the switch the knob or turn the knob, and then get rid of that feature if you don't like it, or turn it on if you do. And I always keep it on, on, like I say, because when I do use the tilt feature, this is generally what I'm doing. I'm never actually tilting with a rubber band or my hand. I'm just letting the counterbalance do all the work. So overall, guys, the Magnus VT4000 is an extremely good tripod, but the fluid head, just that little jerk in the beginning, is a big turnoff for me. And it has basically no resistance. So I would prefer uh, having to put a little bit more muscle into the tripod itself or into the pan to get my nice fluid shots. So that's why I'm sticking f uh, with the fancier FC270A. Although it is worth mentioning that, uh, sorry about that, I will be going with the 502 from Manfrotto. So it's kind of, it doesn't matter honestly which head I choose or which legs. So I'm just going to stick with the fancier one and then upgrade to the 502 and I'll make a review when I should or when I can. If you have anything you want to say, leave it down in the comments below, but until next time, bye bye